Hell, daddy folks, it is Dinecast. Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004. Domination at Donington. We picked up our third career win of the season uh, last Sunday at Donington. But we're going to a Saturday night short track race at Richmond. The Chevy Rock and Roll 400. Uh, this is going to be a big race here because this is coming down to the home stretch. But we gained 30 points. Yeah, 30 points on Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, we're still 612 points out. And uh, truth be told, I want to get back to second place at least in points. But, you know, I mean, 612 points out. What are you going to do? You got to scratch the wall, I guess, to get this. I mean, it's unbelievable how consistent Dale Jr. has been this season. A 5.2 average start. So, think about this. An average start of 5.2. That means no matter what, he's always up front and he has a chance to lead one lap, right? When you lead one lap, guess what? You get five extra bonus points. You know, you think about how many different races he's led a lap. He's probably got almost, I would probably say 60, maybe 80 extra points just on bonus points at least uh, from leading a lap. That's not leading the most laps. That's just one lap, that five points uh, you can get each race. And of course, a 5.6 average finish, you go to as well. 36 career win of this playthrough. Uh, three wins thus far this season. A 12.0 average finish is not what you need. Uh, but going through the schedule here, uh, we got three interesting races coming up. So we got Richmond, New Hampshire, and Dover. Look, Dover, we're, we're, we're really good at Dover, honestly. The Dover night race, we're really good at. Uh, New Hampshire, I mean, that that's kind of uh, throwing a, a dart at a wall, so to speak. And uh, Richmond, I know we're really good there, too. But um, yeah, we're gonna just, we're gonna keep the same paint scheme. Why not? Uh, until these sponsors fly the coop. Their happiness is at 55, 49, and 50. I'm hoping they'll jump off the race car sooner or later. We get a good looking sponsorship for the car. But we're gonna go ahead and get chassis number 14. Go ahead and put that back in the shop. Get that fixed up, ready to go. Uh, in the engine shop here, let's see what we need to work on. So uh, we got two Speedway engines. Luckily, we're going to a short track now. Uh, let's get the newest equipment fixed up. Get that ready to go. Uh, Wins the Cup Racing. Uh, try to get that ready for, you know, Dover and Kansas and all that good jazz. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? Okay, we're overhauling body number 10. So, let's get our Richmond car ready. Look, the truth be told, if we're going to have any shot at this championship, we better start winning a bunch of races, man. Because I, I tell you, it it's going to be tough. 610 points. How do you even just fathom trying to run that down, guys? That is unfreaking believable. But... Gotta do what you gotta do. Car rating of 81. Let's go to Richmond. Alrighty, folks. So we qualified 10th here for the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. Got that Monte Carlo in the top 10 qualifying spot. But one thing that's really interesting, guys. Dale Jr. qualified 14th. Uh, obviously, he's going to be a hard charger to the front. But Tony Stewart is on pole. Let's go into the now track side for some Saturday night short track racing. MRN welcomes you to Richmond, Virginia for tonight's race, the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. Barney, the fans are eager for the race to begin. Tell us about Richmond. Richmond is a great racetrack. It's always fun to come here. We should see some close racing, so anything can happen here. The 82 car has a solid top 10 spot in the standing so far. I had a chance to talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to this race. He feels they have a very strong car that can pick up some more points this week. We'll keep an eye on him. Joe Moore is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Casey Mears hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Here we go, folks. Tony Stewart, Kurt Busch on the front row. And guys, it's going to be exciting. So look, this is a track we can win at. And so with Junior qualifying behind us, if we were to win this race and he don't finish the top five, we could gain some more points. Look, we have to practically just have, we cannot have one single mulligan. We're going to have to finish top 10 every single race here on out. We're going to go earn it. we got to go earn it. The championship chase is pretty much beginning 
Sorry, Ryan Newman, but I need the inside spot there. Our old rival, Ryan Newman, give him a little bit of a door slam, you know. Underneath Matt Kenseth there, and our rival is pretty much Kurt Busch and Ryan Newman in this play. No, I am a huge fan of them, but in this play, they were, were not. Excuse me, Bobby Labonte. I gotta go, buddy. I respect you, but I gotta, I gotta go. Underneath Kevin Harvick here, he's not too happy. He's gonna throw a very bad block, but he's gonna take out Kurt Busch. Wow, that worked perfectly. That worked perfectly. He literally took out my rival, Kurt Busch, so thank you, Kevin Harvick. It's uh, Tony Stewart's right there, but guess what? I'm right here, too. I want this lead, guys. Underneath Jeff Gordon, trying to get to Tony Stewart. Ooh, tight racing here at Richmond. Tony Stewart out front. We got a pretty good car here tonight, guys. Trying to get around the Home Depot. Chevrolet Monte Carlo drove in there a little too deep. Too much on the brake. Oh, trying to stay off Jeff Gordon's sidewall. And, uh, well, put us into the wall there. So now we got to fight back. 40-lap race here at Richmond. Our tires are sliding. Uh, but, man, we got to lead a lap. we got to get out there. we got to try to get those extra bonus points here because we're still 610 points out of a championship. About 10 races left to go. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Gordon, please don't block me, bud. Please don't block me, man. I will move you if you block me. Come on, kick that throttle. Get around Gordon. Slide job him. There we go. Move him out of the way. All right, focus. Try to stay in the tire tracks of that orange Chevrolet. Check your speed, check your speed, get your throttle off command, watch the wall, stand on it. Don't overdrive it, don't overdrive it, don't overdrive it. Oh, sorry, Tony, but I gotta get around you, buddy. And that will be, hopefully, yeah, five bonus points right there for us. So we at least led one lap. Our tires are worn, though, I will say. Holy moly. So now... We gotta find a way to just uh, just hold on to this track position and try to find a way to win this race, guys. We could really use the points here, but obviously it really doesn't matter where we finish. It's more or less where Dell Jr. finishes. And uh, any position outside of the top five is worth three points. So if you're in the top five, that's you know five points there, five points there. But if you're if you're in you know battling sixth and seventh place, that's three points per position uh, all the way all the way back. Car's getting just ever so looser each corner. Let's get a Dale Jr. update here. Uh, so I can calm my nerves. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is Dale Jr.? He qualified 14th. And Dale Jr. has only made up one spot. He's still in 13th place here. There's still one pit stop to go. And um, generally the AIs pick up speed. Could Dale Jr. be a, 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 a driver trying that contrarian strategy? Perhaps he's going to be that one driver that stays out 26 laps on a tank of petrol and uh, leap for off the field. You never know. You, you truly never know. Lap 10 here at Richmond trying to get away from Tony Stewart and Jeff Gordon. Tony's still in the championship hunt. Granted, he's 300 points out, but um, he's having a pretty good, pretty good night. And um, trying to go for a six Winter Cup championship. We're trying to go for our first one, 610 points out. It's a lot, but you got to start somewhere. I mean, we've, we've done everything we possibly could, and it's just been Dale Jr. I mean, he DI this year has been so dominant. I mean, think about it. Michael Waltrip wins Daytona, the Daytona 500. He wins that. He wins Talladega. Right, so that's two wins for him. And then Dale Jr. goes back to Daytona in July, wins that race, which is just an absolute barn burner for him. So DEI is 3-for-3 three three thus far, with Talladega still to come up in the coming weeks. So they've won all three of the plate races, right? So that's wild card races. That's really an opportunity to gain or lose points while they win all three of them. And then you go to Jeff Green, the one car, who's done nothing, the 2000 Bush champion, Wins Martinsville. Takes it from Kurt Busch. Takes it. So that puts all three DEI cars in victory lane here in 2008. And then you add in seven. Get the seven Winston Cup wins for Dale Earnhardt Jr. An average finish of, what, 5.6. It has absolutely been incredible what the eight cars done this season. The 15 car, the one car. I mean, they've all visited victory lane. Uh, 
definitely an incredible season for DEI. And it could end with a Winston Cup. But right now, Gordon and Tony Stewart, they're not going away. These cats are right there in the fold. And um, Gordon is around us now. I, I tell you what, this car is so freaking loose. Put him out front. I want this. I need this lap lead here, guys. A door banging here at Richmond. Sorry, Gordon. I respect you, buddy, but I need these laps led because if Tony gets out front after this pit stop, I don't want him leading 15 laps and uh, getting the most laps led. I'm trying to stay out front as best as I can. The car is just ridiculously bad handling. And it doesn't help that we got a bad driver behind the 82 car. Behind the wheel of the 82 car, I should say. Trying everything I can, guys. Definitely more of a short-run car. Um, let's see how many laps we've led thus far, though. I think Tony led two. Uh, wait, why am I going to pit options? No, race stats. Uh, let's see. No, he led five. Okay, so we're 11 laps right now. Uh, we need to make sure that we get the most laps led tonight. That's that's extra five bonus points. That adds up, guys. Need those bonus points. Trying to keep Tony Stewart at bay. Look, I could let Jeff Gordon get by. I, I don't mind that. I just don't want Tony Stewart because if he gets those extra, you know, seven laps led with 22 to go, very well could happen. He could easily uh, steal those extra five bonus points. And, uh, you know, with Dale Jr., he could be a driver that tries something different to try to leapfrog us. And uh, Tony's on the inside. I cannot even control this car. That's not what we need right there. I, I don't want to pit just yet. I, I want to make sure we're good on fuel. Obviously, we're about to be halfway. He's going to leave that lap there, unfortunately. But I think we're going to pit here and um, just try to maybe gain a little bit of extra track position because our tires are just shot. I mean, our tires are just shot, my dude. We're not, we're not gaining anything. We're just losing time here at this point, so... I'm going to go ahead and bring it down pit road. He's going to as well. Don't want to miss pit road here. Uh, no damage repair. Keep the car to same. We'll, we'll drop the PSI a little bit. Don't repair the damage, though. You know, and, and the thing is, that if we if we tighten up the race car to keep the tires from squealing, um, it'd make the car way too tight. We'll, we'll, we'll wear out the right front just on a, uh, a tight corner exit. That ain't going to do us no good. We'll, we'll just lose the race. I'd rather try to better manage our tires in this stint um, keeping the car as loose as it is than tighten it up and just cooking the right front so that's what we're going to have to do unfortunately but uh, uh, we got to go out here and we got to earn it guys so uh, come on team 16.8 second pit stop I will take it uh, not the best one but hey we're ahead of Tony Stewart we leapfrogged Tony Stewart and could that possibly have been maybe he got held up on pit road or, throw out another scenario, we kind of gassed it up to the line here because, by rule, you can enter pit road 70 miles per hour. You just can't go over that. So if he's entering at 50 and we enter at 60, that's 10 miles per hour we gained right there. So uh, if you do the math a little bit, we could have gained a couple tenths there. And if he got held up, that adds up to the racetrack. So... Got to keep digging here. Got to keep finding a way. And uh, hopefully we'll cycle back. Hopefully Dale Jr. didn't stay out 26 laps. And uh, hopefully we don't get a caution. But if we do get a caution, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, just go out here and try to win this race. But this is a good opportunity to take care of the good years. Dale Jr. No, if he's pit yet. Um, perhaps Dale Jr. pitted a little bit early position. Oh, I'm so sorry. He pitted a little bit early. That would help gain some track position. And now it looks like the field's already pitted and everyone's kind of strung out here. So that's Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch, and whoever. Oh, Scott Wimmer. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it. Well, oh, that worked, but I didn't want to hit you, bud. I was going to go underneath him and do the crossover, but uh, kind of misjudged it. And the car just got wicked tight. entry by me, I might add. Trying to get around um, Scott Wimmer. The race leader is Jeff Gordon, believe it or not. So, 
I mean, if he is the race leader and he has not pitted or done anything, this guy is already in the apex of wanting to. We're, we're not even... So, I mean, truth be told, I think Jeff Gordon's got this in the bag if he doesn't encounter too much lap traffic. I mean, if he's already pitted as Bobby Labonte continues to lose points here, he's got an engine failure again. Not the first time we've said that this season for Bobby Labonte. And, of course, we go back to the springtime. We DNF'd. Uh, we were with Johnny Benson. It, it, it just was bad. So That was some lost points in it. If you start putting two and two together, certainly it adds up. But... Dale Jr. is in sixth place here, guys, and that's why I, I was fearful of that he wasn't going to stay in sixth, or excuse me, uh, 12th, 13th place for long. Just over 10 laps to go, trying to run down the 24 car, roughly half a straightaway, maybe a little bit more. And, uh, I, I just don't see his tires wearing that fast, and that's the problem with these racetracks, is sometimes it doesn't matter how fast you are, you pit as the leader, and you still lose the race. But if he hasn't pitted yet, then that explains everything. Unfortunately, we're not going to be uh, that lucky here. And uh, again, 10 laps still to go here, but our tires are going to cook by the end. So it's going to be who can get through lap traffic as efficiently as possible that's going to win this Winston Cup race. And uh, Robbie Gordon, if you block me, so help me, buddy. I'm not going to sit there and let you block me when you're probably running 37th the lap down what on the bright side there's Kevin Harvick there which he is fourth in points we are fifth in points there's still about a hundred points out but hey that's that's five points we can gain on Kevin Harvick not to mention we led laps but if Jeff Gordon keeps leading laps he's gonna steal the most laps led tonight guys which is unfortunate but there's nothing you can do Mike Bliss buddy don't block me don't block me. You want to block me? You're getting the wall, buddy. Yeah, good. <laughs> hey, man. When you're running 35th and you block a, a driver that's on the lead lap, and it's not its not even like the like we're trying to put him a lap down. He's already a lap down, and you block me. I'm putting you in the fence. I, I'm putting you in the fence. I, I ain't going to I ain't gonna sit there and twiddle my thumb about it. I'm, I'm putting you in the fence. That's what I did. So we're going to keep digging here. Lap 34 out of 40. Our car is just significantly going away. It's, it is just climbing the hill. Kurt Busch, though, is 2.2 seconds ahead. That's an eternity. I'm trying to run him down. Come on, car. Still five laps to go here. Jeff Gordon. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Stanton Bear. Oh, my goodness. That was stupid of me. I apologize, buddy. Trying to run down the 97 car. Jeff Gordon, man. I, I, I don't know what he did. But he must have had a 15.2 second pit stop. And he must have had the perfect corner or pit road entry and pit road exit. Because he gained four seconds on us. Now, he could have pitted early and uh, leapfrogged us in terms of, you know, overall position. But you got to think about it, guys. We were neck and neck with him. How the heck did he gain four seconds on that pit sequence? If that ain't an anomaly, I don't know what is. So, uh, unfortunate, we're not going to win tonight. But, hey, a solid top five. It's not going to be much points compared to Dale Earnhardt Jr. But um, I'll take whatever I can get at this point. We're not going to be able to catch Kurt Busch in time. That's okay, though. As long as we can hold on to this third place spot, I'll take it. You know, we qualified 10th, we fought hard, we did what we had to do. Hey, we led a lot of laps tonight. I'll take it. I will take it. And um, Jeff Gordon's going to get a big Winston Cup win here. It's going to be too little too late for his championship, but hey, man, uh, you got to do what you got to do. So just take care of the equipment here. Our tires are scorched, bro. But you could look at, look at the track position between me and Jeff Gordon. That's what I'm saying. That unbelievable amount of time he gained there. And uh, here we are in the final lap here. We won last Sunday at Donington, but hey, man, we can hold on to this. That the back-to-back -to -back top three finishes great for the race team, guys. And we led some laps. 
We ain't gonna lead the most laps, though, unfortunately, but we led a lap that gives us those extra five bonus points. We gain points on Junior and Kevin Harvick and Tony Stewart. And uh, check this. Junior finishes seventh. I'll take it. But Jeff Gordon is going to victory lane. Well, uh, we made a little bit of some rivals there, but it's all good. You know, we kind of rattled his cage. And like I mentioned, <laughs> unfortunately, Jeff Gordon led five more laps at us and he got those extra five bonus points. But you know what? It's okay, though, because get this. Junior didn't lead any laps tonight, so that helps us. Uh, so we gained, we got 170. He got 146. Do a little bit of math there. You know, you're going to have about 24 points gained. So it's a it's a net gain. It's a net gain. That's all we can do. It's a net gain on him. We gained a, just, a, just a smidge on Kevin Harvick, 10 points. Uh, it's still good, though, but, you know, not what we need. We even gained a little bit on Tony Stewart. But either way, looking through the field here, uh, your bottom of the barrel is going to be Bobby Labonte and Ashton Lewis. Uh, tough break for the Joe Gibbs Racing and Wood Brothers Cats. But anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching. If you don't, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Upload these videos of Thunder 2004 Career Mode every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Plan on doing about 18 seasons of this stuff if we can. Uh, do a full career playthrough and better document it, hopefully. But uh, yeah, Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon get ahead of us, though. I don't know what we could have done different than Jeff Gordon. I guess we could have pitted earlier, I guess. Um, unfortunate, but you know what it is what it is. We just didn't have that good of a car in the long run, and um, that kind of bit us there at the end when he gained that track position. Anyways, folks, hope you're having a great one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And all that being said, Diecast Buffet, signing off.